Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another episode of Behind the Corner, where I take you behind the scenes of Running Bowers Game Corner, my YouTube channel, and show you how many subscribers I gained, views, different trends I noticed, metrics, and of course, how much money I earned, because I know everybody's morbidly curious about that sort of thing! So if you enjoy that kind of content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below, but here we go. We're looking right now for the month of August 1st to August 31st, 2021, and let's just start with views, and it's up. I was I was noticed I was getting somewhat of a lull the last few months, and then my kids got back to school. I said, I'm really going to push it hard this last month, and I'm really excited to see that the views are up. They're not as big as they were a couple months ago, and as big as they were, you know, uh, March. But still very happy with these numbers, 51,000 to 59,000. That's not bad at all. Uh, watch time is also up. Cool. That's a good little metric there. And it's up pretty big. 900 watch hours. Awesome. Subscribers. Check out how we did there. So uh, 129. It was uh, down to 107. And then we can see... Man, whatever I was doing in April really was working well. 202 subscribers. Then estimated revenue... And this is purely just from all the ads on YouTube's where people gave me Super Chat, which doesn't happen too often. It has happened before. $175. So right around that bar right there, which is, it is what it is. But let's dig in a little bit more. We're going to see specifically which videos did what money and all that good sort of stuff. But let's look at the top videos in this period, just in view count. And once again, Illumina Illuminati Second Edition Interview Gen Con Bonanza 2018. Hey, can you go away? Why are you here? Uh, why, why are you there? Oh, no, I don't want to click on this. All right. Uh, but for whatever reason, this interview just continues to be massively popular. And I was going to put a nice thumbnail on it, but then it was like, I don't know if I want to rock the boat. Because for some reason, this video just keeps being popular and i don't want to mess with it i've messed with the behind the scenes things i've put tags on it to make it look better but actually the thumbnail i'm gonna leave it like that because right now it's just stupidly popular and i don't know why and i don't want to mess with the momentum on this thing because let's check just how much uh this video has earned so uh, 11 dollars and 53 cents in the last month <laughs> five new subscribers three and a half thousand views and this is why I love doing the Gen Con Bonanza. Because once again, let's refresh our memory here. This is a random interview from 2018. A three-minute interview where I just sit down and I ask someone about this game. Um, very, very fascinating to me. It tells me the internet is starved for information on that. I wish I actually had that. Uh, I'm sure if you did a review on that, it would just do some gangbusters. Uh, so then we have Avatar Legends, the role-playing game. And now I'm starting to see the August one. So that's awesome. August 3rd, August 6th. And I started off with a big bang. I, I upgraded my uh, thumbnails. So let's see if I can see one of my older thumbnails. So yeah, this was how the original Kickstarter critiques were done. Uh, where you see that it was just Kickstarter critique and then the name and then I've been watching some videos and, and I really do think that adding this top bar just giving people a snippet of what they're potentially getting into uh, is a great move and let me know what you think about that I think it just makes it look better I think it I think it doesn't clutter and then I've also experimented with putting different heads on things and now you might say well those are in the top three so you should totally be putting different heads on you every single time but what I want to say here is those were also two immensely popular projects. Avatar Legend raised six and a half million dollars. And Ardia uh, was very popular as well. I think it raised over a million dollars. But I also got that video retweeted by the creator of the game because they, they liked the video so much. And I think I gave him an A. Like, it was one of the best ones I've seen. So, since published, eight subscribers, $8.36. And you see, uh, that's something that really gets me excited. Because... As I continue to grow and as I continue to do Kickstarter critiques, there's going to continue to be large projects on Kickstarters. And whenever there's really big, multi-million dollar Kickstarter projects, typically that's when I see these videos do really well. And as Kickstarter hopefully continues to grow and crowdfunding in general becomes more of the norm... I think my channel, my segment, is only going to continue to grow. And it really excites me because, hey, who's to say, you know, the next time that there's a huge IP game, I don't just get retweeted by the... So let's just say... Uh, so this one got popular because it was retweeted. This one got popular because it's immensely popular. What if someone retweeted one of those on an immensely popular one, and all of a sudden, maybe this isn't 3,268. That's 30,000. You know... I'm waiting for that. Like, that's what I'm still working towards because that's when you really start to be the, see the big subscribers. Uh, because let's check out Ardia on this one. 
And the average view time on that one, nine minutes and 23 seconds. Interesting. That is, whoo, that is much higher than, uh, okay. So people like when I cover things and give them praise, it looks like. Uh, because Flamecraft, I also gave another really high grade too. Granted, I can't change my grades. It is what it is. But like right here, and this is spectacular, 25 subscribers from Ardia. Now, one thing I do want to mention here though is it's actually higher than 25, I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure I've lost quite a few subscribers from this video. I'm going to speculate because there was a point, and I'll, I'll dig more into this number a little bit later, uh, actually last week, where I was going down in subscribers for two or three days or just maintaining, and that is so unusual for my channel, and it just like causes me to freak out and stress. I'm like, what have I done? Uh, and, and so I'm very interested to hopefully pinpoint what it is, but I'm going to predict it's people who subscribed for Ardia and thought these were going to be positive, all positive, all great, because Ardia was a lot of great. And then they get into it, it's like, oh, wow, he's really negative and critical. Now this one, Apples to Apples review, it only has 23 seconds uh, and, and I actually did a video on this, and you say, why is Apples to Apples up here? It's so odd. Uh, that's because it was getting promoted to a very specific group of countries in near Asia. Um, let's see if I can actually pinpoint. Yeah, you can see right here, right at the beginning of the month. Yeah, so this is when it was getting <laughs> just absolutely promoted. In various different parts of the world. And let's see if we can see the reach and the engagement. And you can see what I'm trying to say here. Uh, yeah, YouTube advertising. Ad playbacks that qualify as a view. So YouTube, wow, that's really amazing. So that means YouTube took a shot on me right there. They're like, hey, maybe we throw this in front of this uh, this crowd. And that's that's really fascinating to me. But let's see. Um, let's see if I can pinpoint where the, where the audience was. Yeah. Because it was really, yeah, Indonesia, Pakistan, Vietnam, Bangladesh, Turkey. <laughs> so someone fine-tuned my video. YouTube was like, hey, we're going to shoot Forrest Bauer at these people over here. And then they eventually like, okay, maybe this isn't working as much as we planned. And you can see it proceeded to stop. Now that, that concerns me a little bit. That stinks. Uh, but I did gain some subscribers along this journey. And once again, this is what I was just kind of talking about. Um... It didn't work this time, but what about next time YouTube says, hey, maybe we take a shot on this guy? And if those numbers are, instead of 23 seconds, we're looking at, say, 9 minutes and 23 seconds, that could be huge. You know, it's just getting the right eyeballs on the product, and YouTube tried to do that for me. I think that's the first time that I know of. There might have been one other time. I think there was one other time when I saw a massive, massive spike, and I never could figure out the spike. Now I think the spike is because YouTube advertised me. However, it was early on in my YouTube career, so I don't even think I can go back and really check it. Uh, maybe I can. Maybe we'll do that at the end of the video, because we'll look at this month, and then I want to go uh, do a little CSIing. So Dragon Eye Dice Kickstarter Critique, Flamecraft, uh, and then we have Clue Suspects just chumming out here. This one's going to be one of those evergreen games. But So those are my top ten. And then Friday Night Funkin', and this is what I'm talking about, popular Kickstarter games. Uh, especially in the video game circuit. This is from April. So let's dig deeper into these numbers. Let's see more about August because this is where I really like to get. I really like to break it down, analyze stuff. So we still have August 1st to the 31st. Uh, this is this is not what I want. This does not look good. I don't need my total number of views. All right, here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, video. Oh, that's where I want to go. Boom, 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 boom. That's a very uninspiring. What am I looking at? Okay, so let's sort it by. Why is this all? I think YouTube is having some issue here, is because this is supposed to be a big bar graph, and it's not a big bar graph, and I do apologize for that. So what are we looking for? Let's add a couple things. Let's try and pinpoint where the subscribers left from as well. Subscribers lost because, like I said, I did have that lull during the middle of the month, and let's see if I can pull it up onto another. Uh, thing I like YouTube analytics. I don't. Uh, YouTube analytics is amazing, but once you get down into the weeds, it's a little bit hard to navigate. Navigate. So let's just see if we can look at the last uh, last 28 days, because now this isn't going to give me this bar chart. It's actually going to give me this, which I think is a little bit more valuable in this circumstance. So yeah, you can see um, just big chunks of gainers, and that's really pretty routine for me. You get a chunk from a Kickstarter critique, and then they eventually get tired. A couple of them do, negative one. And then here was the lull, negative one, negative one, negative two, for three straight days. Oh, my heart. And it was just like, what am I doing wrong? But then it was like, oh, okay, Sunday happened. It was like, I got seven. And I wonder what happened on Sunday. Let's see what I posted on Sunday. Titty Towns, a playthrough video of Titty Towns. 
Uh, let's see what I posted on Friday. Uh, video game one. So, I, yeah, I'm going to guess that that is the video game audience coming in here, because I don't think it's for the Alpha Unboxes. That's like a three-year-old game. I think it's for that. So, welcome aboard. And that's why I'm trying to diversify my portfolio of what I cover as well. Just trying to make it more uh, Kickstarter, nerdy sort of things. But let's, uh, so let's go back over here to the, the, the fancy one. So, subscribers lost. So, Masters of the Universe lost three. Edge of Darkness lost three. And I really, I tore them. Uh, I tore that, I tore them pretty up. <laughs> because AEG, I thought, was just really lazy on that Kickstarter. And I'm going to guess that a lot of people did not like that. Well, three people. Which sucks, but it, you know, it, it, I'm going to be honest. So, and then we just have a bunch of generic ones. So it's not like there's one that just absolutely, uh, so Edge of Darkness. Oh, actually Edge of Darkness. Oh, so this shows you overall plus minus subscriber and, oh, I want to see the, I want to see the other way, <laughs> but let's check out what did give me some good subscribers. Uh, apples to apples review. So welcome eco flow. And this is cool. So this is. What is this thing? Yeah, this is a portable generator, and that's six new people into Bowers Game Quarter. So welcome aboard. And that's why I love to cover that sort of different thing. All right, so let's look at some different metrics here. Let's see what we can get into. So we saw a view. Let's, so let's check out estimated revenue. Let's see if anything got shared. I doubt I doubt anything gets shared. I don't think my video... Do my video get shared? I've never looked at this metric. I'm just trying to pick some different metrics that I've never looked at before to see if maybe we can discern something or see something. Uh, unique viewers, impressions, click-through rate, premium views. Mm, I don't know. Ad impressions? I don't know what that's about. Let's check it out. All right, we got two new ones here. Let's check out shares first. I'm going to guess it's relatively low. I don't think most people share my video. Oh, no. Uh, so this one got shared 16 times, 13 times. 11, clue suspect card game review. Skin shared 11 times. Now, that one, that Illuminati second edition, I wish I could click on more to know more about these shares. I wish it told me where they were getting shared from. I wonder if that's something we can do if we dig into the weeds. I'm going to try that real quick. I should have opened a new tab. You're foolish. Okay, so how do I find shares? So it's going to be in Seymour. I'm going to have to get in here. All right, let's get dirty. All right, so shares. So I want to get. I want to see shares. Oh, no, tra so we can see traffic source. Will that tell me? That'll tell me how much I got off the shares, I believe, which is really useful. So browse features. 551 still most popular youtube search 372 and then external 350 suggested video 178 so that really doesn't tell me that much about the sharing maybe maybe we can because hmm. i'd love to get in depth oh and there's a bunch of stuff i can't get in depth on in here specifically for videos okay that's a bit disappointing bummer okay wait i clicked on it did it do anything shares uh no this is not what i wanted Okay, so we'll go back. Hopefully it doesn't take me too far back. We'll look at a couple more things. Uh, I'll look at specifically how much different videos are earning. But let me know in the comments below if there's ever anything on this that you want me to specifically cover. Now, in case you're wondering, uh, so I made 170-something during the month. I also have Amazon Associate Link, which normally there's links down in the, the, the clickables. There'll be one down here. You buy anything on Amazon, I get a small portion of that. That one does not earn me much money at all. Like, I'll be lucky if I make a dollar a month off those ones, just because I don't think most people click on those. But let's check out ad impressions. So, verified ad impressions that we served to the users. And this one can't be rated by how many you got. That seems kind of odd. Clue suspect card game. Illuminati second edition. What in the hell? Uh, apparently there is so little information. You know what? I bet it's people looking into just cultish things, you know, Illuminati-esque things. And then YouTube saying, hey, there's a card game about that. Here's an interview. Uh, I wonder if that's what's keeping it going. And that, so part of me wants to do an experiment where I change the Illuminati second edition thumbnail. And then part of me wants to not do that. <sighs> hmm. Gotta risk it for the biscuit, right? Alright, this is the month. I've said this for the last three months. This is the month I finally put Illuminati into a new thumbnail that looks nice, that looks updated with what I do. And we will see the results next month. 
All right, so ad impressions, views. Let's check out the money. Let's check out the money. Let's look at specifically how much money was made because I think that's what a lot of people want to know about. What does a typical video even make? Let's see. Videos published. Where's the money? Estimated revenue. Oh, it's already in here. So I have to scroll to the left. To get, to go! No! What are you doing? YouTube, you, you, you suck. You make me so mad sometimes. Oh, I could click on monthly. I could click on daily on here. Oh, that's, oh, that's what I wanted. Yeah, that's a much better shot of the month of August. Yeah. yeah. So let's take a look here. I think this is actually going to be a little bit more interesting, potentially, too, as you can see the average that I make a day. So four twelve on Tuesday, $5.42, around the 4 to $5 range, pretty much. And sometimes it dips up higher, eight thirty three. And I'm sure this was uh, towards the beginning of the month when I had those big videos going. We have myth. So let's, so one more thing I want to take a look at. I do want to look at specifically how much money some of my older videos made. But then I also, will, I like to look at what's happening right now in Bowers Game Corner and potentially see if maybe I can see some early trends for September. Because I can tell you right now, September is going to be huge. September is going to be massive. I will make a bold prediction right now. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to predict how many views I'm going to get next month. I believe I will hit 400,000 views. I'm going to make that prediction. That is a bold prediction. Uh, as you can see, 400,000 views. Let's even, let's just go lifetime. Have I ever hit 400,000 views? This might be, this might be a poor choice. Uh, oh, it's, it, that, that's, uh, that's, now I want to see monthly and you won't let me see monthly. No, come on. Where'd the little button go that said monthly? You suck, YouTube. I hate you so much. All right, so we'll go to the last year then. Monthly. Uh, you won't let me go monthly either? You were so, you were, you were fired, YouTube. Oh, I guess I already had it. I guess it already was up there. So I have to go to the last, th I will tell you. YouTube sometimes is not the most user-friendly. All right, so now monthly. And you can see, that's a huge gain. Like I'm, But I'm predicting it because of the Gen Con Bonanza. I think people are going to be... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go 200,000. Let's go moderate. We'll go 200,000. Because every year at Gen Con, I do a shoot over 100 videos. Crank them out. But let's take a look at... Uh, oh, so we just want the money. We just want the money. Show me the money. Estimated revenue. Okay, here we go. Nice and clean. Boom. So... Most popular videos, Illuminati Second Edition Crush and made me eleven fifty three. Avatar Legends eight thirty six. So I sat down here in my basement. I talked about Avatar role playing game. I made eight thirty six and I gained some subscribers. That's awesome. Ardia six fifteen. Box one. Neil Patrick Harrison. Once again, this was an experiment I did. I clicked on it. I should have just went back. Ugh. I did, and this so this game cost sixty bucks. The whole trip I think cost sixty bucks, and I bought a bunch of Target games. This one I made eighty dollars, twenty seven subscribers. I need to do that more. I need to really pinpoint when Target is releasing games and be in there day one, doing how to play videos, gameplay videos, reviews. I need to get on that. That's something that I hope to do after the con season is really start to get in tune with the Walmart Target game release schedule because that is. That is a market that's a gold rush right now. I see people racing to get these videos up as quick as possible. Why can't I be at Target right when they open? Why can't I literally be at Target as soon as they open, get it, go to my house, quickly read the rules, shoot about, shoot videos, have them up before the end of the day. Gameplay video, skip the rules video. That's what I need to get on. I need to start pounding the pavement a little bit more. And that's how I'm going to gain a lot of those mass market style fans, which are great fans to get. And as you can see, this is what I love to see too. Skip the rules videos. Uh, buck 63. These are going to be consistent income as long as that game, uh, is popular. So smack it buck 32. And so I need to get back doing more of those as well. Monopoly junior buck 21 red light, green light buck 20. And it's not much. It's not a buck 20 is not much, but imagine if I had 500 of those videos just churning along and skip the rules videos, how to play videos. Those are, those are, I see people who are making a living off those videos in the background and when we when we say board game media we don't think about some of these people but they are out there they're doing it there's people who are specifically just sharing board game deals on social media and making a living off that and and i'm trying to get more into those little niches trying to find li more little ways that i can make bowers game corner profitable because i have the patreon uh which does i think 50 60 bucks a month i have this which, you know, 150 to 200 bucks a month 
typically, let's see what, uh, yeah. Oh, no, actually. So, August 2020. This was back before I really started to take Bowers Game Corner. This I was in a very big mental funk. And you can see right when I started to really crank it in. And hopefully this is going to keep fluctuating, even get higher. But let's take a look at what's happening at Bowers Game Corner right now. Live total, 7,898 subscribers. My goal is 9,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's a very ambitious goal. Um, but 1,100 subscribers in the last few months, who knows? Hopefully with the Gen Con Bonanza, with the Origins Bonanza, we're going to be able to do it. And one thing that I'm doing differently this year, in particular with the Origins Bonanza, which I think is really going to help me gain a good chunk more followers, is... We used to do impression videos uh, at Origins. Me and my buddy Adam, we go to Origins and we play 30, 40 games at a time. And we used to do impression videos. But now I think we're just going to churn those into thoughts from the corner style videos, which just generally get a lot more uh, views. All right. So this was yesterday's Kickstarter critique, which I do apologize for. I screwed up. Apparently, uh, the volume was way too low during the main part of the video, which is super... Ugh. Uh, avoidable and hopefully won't happen again and then we have kickstarter critiques kickstarter critiques my gen con essential gen con packing list now this one i have high hopes for so my plan for this one is to share this and try and make this a evergreen video by naming it conventions must haves because i'm trying to not just appeal to gen con and origins goers but just convention goers in general one of the things that i did with this video to try and help do that was i started tagging it and I also looked, at, once again, Amazon Associate links. Hopefully, I'm really excited next month to see if these start. And this is something I'm going to analyze next month to see if this had any effect because I listed all the different things that I've shown in my video. Uh, but I'm also experimenting with tagging down here a little bit more. Convention, Gen Cons, Games Con, because it is just a general one. And then down here, this is what gets me excited about this. I am the number two convention packing list video. So if you type in convention packing list, and they're arguing, some say two, some say three. But the bottom line is, indoor packing list, apparently I'm the number one. If anybody types that, Gen Con packing list, con packing list. Like, this video has the potential, baby. It's got the potential to go. Um, and, and so what I'm trying to do here is if this can become an evergreen video, and I'm hoping to do that by uh, getting onto TweetDeck, which is a website that allows you to tweet out tweets, you know, in the future. So I can tweet, so to set this September, every, every August, right before Gen Con, I can have this blast out. Well, typically August. Uh, say, hey, uh, convention packing list. I can do this for other conventions as well, and I can even tag those. Are you going to PAX Unleashed this weekend? Check out my essential convention packing list. You know, and that's how you get yourself a potential evergreen game. I'm going to make a bold prediction. And I'm going to try to get this to be one of my most popular lists ever. Now, I don't know if it's going to be possible. That's that's very lofty. Um, but I'm going to try and keep this one alive. I'm going to set up a Twitter account so that it... Uh, well, set up my tweets. So it will pump this out maybe three times a year. This one tweet, spotlighting this, hashtagged up. Uh, so I'm excited about that video. And I'm starting to think about my videos a little bit more. Ganymede, Bower and Boxes. So this is a, a relatively popular game. It's now just being brought to North America. So I'm excited to see that. This is another thing I'm experimenting with as well. And this is, I like doing this segment because you can, you can see some of the failed experiments right here. So this is a nine second video where quite literally I'm just trying to get it to go viral because it's, it's an issue that I have with YouTube. And it's a really annoying issue. It's that if you are in the YouTube studio and you're looking through your comments because there's a whole section. Let me show it to you because that's this is behind the corner. I mean, we're here. You saw you saw about the month. This is just behind the scenes stuff. This is gravy on the mashed potatoes. I almost said gravy on the cake. Uh, so, yeah, you go down here to your latest comments and you can comment on stuff, which is awesome. But it's like, oh, I should be able to pin right from here, right? No, you can't. And that just boggles my mind that you can't pin from here. And so that's what this nine second video is. So I'm hoping that this could potentially get seen by the right person who retweets and says, yeah, I find that annoying. Or maybe somebody's trying to type it in. Uh, and so I think the key to maybe this one is if I tag it correctly, but I don't know. Uh, so we got Black Rose Wars Rebirth, a lot of Kickstarter critiques, Eragon, an erotic RPG. I ventured into something a little bit different. Now, let's see how that one's doing. Now this one I just launched uh, August 26th, so we're not going to have much information one week out, but one subscriber, 477 views, okay, that is what it is, I was hoping for something a little bit more, but you can't, and that's the other thing, you can never get disappointed, like, as a YouTuber, 
you can expect things to happen. You can hope for things to happen, but you can never get disappointed when things don't happen. Because for me personally, it's not nine times out of 10 that I swing, I miss. It's 99 times out of 100 I swing and I miss. Now, granted, I'm putting much more effort into my swings now, and that number is rapidly changing, but it's still. And then here we go. This is why I love these. Yeah. Smack it. Red light, green light. This was, and I picked this one up because it was one of the most popular Amazon card games, and it had no video on how to skip the rules, which is something that I need to also do as well. I'm going to do that after this video. Right now, I'm committing. You're going to see that next month, I'm going to talk about some skip the rules videos that I did for popular games that don't have skip the rules videos because I am committed right now to making this work. And if I see this, I see this right here. I see these three games sitting here at the bottom. But this is... This is the last 48 hours. These are not new videos. December 17th, December 31st, uh, November 29th. This is a trend I need to not ignore right here. So as soon as we get done with this, I am going to take care of that. But that was the behind the scenes. It's Bowers Game Corner. I'm willing to let you know whatever you want to know. Because I, I quite personally, I find this sort of content fascinating when other people let me behind the corner. So if there's anything in specific in next month's episode you would like to see, please let me know. And as always... Thanks for your time. Oh, and also, uh, let me know in the comments down below, which part of this did you think was the least interesting? Uh, because if there's, like, uh, something that so I think is interesting, and it's like, no, this isn't really interesting, then I won't focus on it. So please let me know about that in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.